In this video, we're going to focus on how we can create a very nice dotted line here. Well, all the remaining will be eventually a solid line. So we're going to show you how to soft coat this, how to play around with it, and how to make it more dynamic right now. In this video, we're going to focus on how to make a specific segment of the line chart dashed in Chart.js. So let's start to explore how we can do this. So the first thing what we need is to get our default code. For that, we need to go to chartjs3.com, getting started, or this specific link, which you can also find in the description. Then if we scroll down here, we're going to grab here this chunk of code here. All right. And once you have this, if you would like to understand what this code does, make sure you watch this video here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just paste it in here, and then I'm going to cut out this and put that in there. Save this. Refresh. And there we are. Now we have a basic bar chart. What I want to do is, of course, convert this into a line chart. If I save that, refresh, there we are. But what we need to do as well, of course, is make it a bit more thicker and make it more elastic. So in here, the border width, this can be basically removed. And I'll just replace that with tension and to make it more elastic. So to make it more elastic, tension 0.4. And then the default border width of 3 pixels is being shown now. All right. So now we have this, and what I want to do eventually here now is starting to get, let's say here the beginning of Monday or up to Thursday, I want this all dotted and everything beyond that should become just a solid line. So how do we do this? Well, to do this, what we need to do here is basically we need to work within the segment. So in the segment here, which is a specific object, we can put in here a certain value. So what I'm going to do here is the following. I'm going to say here border dash, which basically allows us to control the dashes or the, the dotted line. So if you would do a default, let's say 6, 6, and if I save that, refresh here, you can see here now we have a very simple dotted line. Of course, we don't want this because this is full or completely from beginning to end. So what we need to do in here, and this is what allows it with the segment, is the following. Because when we talk about segments, what we're really talking about is this point to here. That would be considered as a single segment. The next one will be here to here, and from here to there, etc., etc. So this will keep on until it loops to the very end. And if I would open up my console log, and then what I would like to do here is, for example, to show this. Well, how do we show this? Well, first of all, let me show you exactly what we need to do. We're going to use here a variable. So what I'm going to say here in the segment, I'm going to refer to the CTX first, which is basically the chart variables. And then what I want to do here is let's say here dash or dash that we find. And this is basically my constant that I'm going to later on apply here. This will be the constant of dash equals, and of course here right now, nothing yet. So I'm going to put this in here, and in here, what I want to do is basically a parameter. And this is the parameter I would like to know. I want to know, first of all, the CTX. And then next, what I want to do is to get a default value. So I will say here by default, or basically a value that is suggested, which would mean a dotted 6 by 6 uh, dotted line. So basically 6 pixels solid, and then 6 pixels of white space afterwards. So that is fine. And what I want to do as well is, as a default value, what I want here is another value as well, 6 by 0, meaning it will become here. We will check here if this is applicable with this argument and this argument here in later on in the dash constant. I'm going to show you that afterwards. And if it's not applicable, it will be shown this as a default. Or if there's nothing here, this will be grabbed as default, which would be a default solid line for that segment. So once I have this, and I have this here, so what we are going to do here is the following. I can remove this. There should be no semicolon there. What I want to do now is working on the dash here. Because here now, we need to start working with this. And the reason I'm putting the dash here at the very top is because we have the dash here down. Meaning that this loads, but what we need to do then, before this loads, we need to load, of course, our constant. So what are we going to do here with the constant of dash? We're going to say here the following. The dash will be equal to, we're going to grab our parameters. And our parameters will be CTX and value. 
and these two parameters are referring basically to this here this one here the ctx and the value which would be our dotted line so we have this now here and then what i'm going to say here is the following to make this clear i would like to of course do a console log so i'm going to show you here first of all console.log ctx save that refresh and there you are so you can see here every segment is being displayed and if i talk about segment you see here six items which is correct because it starts here to here that's considered one segment two three four five and six as you can see here we have seven array items here or labels but we have one two three four five six segments all right so this is very important and what i really want to do here is i want to grab well for example if thursday would be from that point on, we would have a solid line, and before that, we want to have everything as a uh, dotted line. What we need to do is we need to work with the items here, and specifically getting these P0 data index. And the P0 data index refers to this data index here. This is P0 index 1 or 0. Then you can see here, if you go to 5, you're going to here as this specific item. So wherever we want to start, well, we have to check what is our starting point here, because you can see 5 would be referring to this, and 6 is referring to that. So what we need to do here, well, we could say here, if the P0 is this, so that's Thursday, that would be 0, 1, 2, 3. So starting from P0 data index 3, at that moment, solid line, and before that, we're going to put a um, dotted line. So what I'm going to say here is the following. So here I can just remove this. We're going to just make a simple if statement now. And this if statement will be the following. We will say here ctx dot p0 data index. Remember, that's this one here. P0 data index with capital D and capital I. If this would be smaller than and then what we need to do here is basically uh, the value. I'm going to soft code this later on. We're going to hard code it for now. Of 3. If that is the case, so if it's that's true, in that case, we want to show the value here, or which is basically our value here. This value. And else, what I would like to do here is to put in the default, which is 0. Point or 6, 0. So once we have this, it should grab this, and then if we save this and refresh, you can see here now, this works beautifully. All right, so now we have one part. But of course, what I would like to do, of course, here is to soft code this specific item here. So how do we do this? Well, to soft code this, we need to grab the certain value. So in this case, I'm going to grab here this specific part. So I'm going to create a new constant with the name of labels, and this labels equals the label array here semicolon and then what i will say here labels so labels equals labels which is the constant of labels here so now what i would do is i could for example grab your first date so how do we do that in a soft code it we're going to grab here the labels and then what i'm going to say here is the following i'm going to say this here and then dot index of meaning we're going to search for the index number of the specific item here which would be Thursday so I'm going to grab this equals to this string value here if I save this now refresh you can see nothing really happens because it's exactly the same except we have soft coded it so we can change this to Friday and if I save this now and refresh you can see here now it moves to Friday so this will help us understand how to do it and then it will push it back in here in the segment and then it will show it nicely on our line chart. So if we do it here on, uh, instead of Monday, let's do Tuesday. We should grab this one here now. And there you are. So this is basically how you can play around with it. So if you like these kind of videos and maybe you want to go even deeper, I would highly recommend you to check out this specific video, which is about assigning colors in a line chart based on the values in chart chairs, which is very close to what we're doing right now.